Welcome everyone to the video. This is my initial reaction to the Firebirds update trailer. I have not watched this trailer yet. I've seen recommendations for it. I've seen the uh, thumbnail on YouTube, but I have not seen the actual trailer itself. So right now I'm going to watch it and you're going to see my initial reaction to this trailer. Um, so yeah, right here we have what looks like could be a new map straight off the bat, straight off the bat. I don't really remember these like broken out windows from anywhere. Could be just uh, what's it called Carpathians or something. Could be something like that. Uh, but it definitely does look original. I'm hoping we do get some extra maps in this update. That's something we do sorely need. Let's take a look at what they have in store for us. Okay, so. One thing I noticed, that camera angle, this is obviously a map that we have already in game, but the plant kind of leaning into the screen is so nice. It's starting off really promising. First six seconds, and they've already caught my attention. Okay, so pausing again. Uh, that's a new airfield. Something I hadn't been informed of before this. I'm just taking some time to process. Sorry, guys. It looks like... It looks like we're getting a big airfield update. and Maybe the helicopters from the same airfield. That's going to be pretty interesting. Imagine the uh, friendly fire possibility for that. Just helicopter takes off. Friendly aircraft. Or like an AIM-9. Something like that. That is going to be toxic. They might have to change stuff around like that. Plus, the airfield is a lot further away. Okay, so we get some sort of amphibious vehicle, IFB. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. Right here. I had to look it up on Google using Google Image Search. This is the F-15E. So, yeah. Pretty capable, uh, carries a lot of ordnance. That's the thing about it. It can carry a ton. It's a little bit heavier than the normal air fr airframes. Therefore, its flight performance isn't as good, but at top tier, the only thing that matters is the amount of missiles and the type of missiles you can carry, and this thing excels at that. I'm just confused on how other nations will deal with this, because it does get like a special radar that it might or might not get. I feel like if it if they choose like an early edition of this, it's not going to have that radar. But if they choose a modern version of this, it could be a very solid radar on this vehicle. Okay, we got some moving shadows. Maybe they're going to be adding like other events or something. Another IFB. Wait, wait. That looks vaguely familiar from my time on Google. Looking at military vehicles. That's that's a anti-air. This is the F-15E. So yeah, pretty capable. Uh carries a lot of ordnance. That's the thing about it. It can carry a ton. It's a little bit heavier than the normal air fr airframes. Therefore, its flight performance isn't as good, but at top tier, the only thing that matters is the amount of missiles and the type of missiles you can carry, and this thing excels at that. I'm just confused on how other nations will deal with this, because it does get like a special radar that it might or might not get. I feel like if, it, if they choose like an early edition of this, it's not going to have that radar, but if they choose... A modern version of this, it could be a very solid radar on this vehicle. Okay, we got some moving shadows. Maybe they're going to be adding like other events or something. Another IFB. Taking off a bit. Wait, wait. 
That looks vaguely familiar from my time on Google. Looking at military vehicles. That's that's a anti air. Uh, maybe I'll remember it, but it maybe it looks like it's on a truck or just kind of sitting there. It's a ground map. I remember that. I remember this map, the log. I think it's like Sweden or something. Got the castle off to the side. Yeah, yeah, that's what the log is. This is like the middle section of the map. That Patriot missile system on a ground map. Okay. Oh, dang. They haven't launched? Oh, okay, there's Wing Vapor. Uh, looks a lot better than the old one. The old one's kind of just a line. Oh my, okay, so it's quick. It's already 30 kilometers away. Go, 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 notch. Quick and radar. Okay, and obviously this is a Russian jet. Oh yeah, that's that's quick. Uh. Okay, good at track. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Even a little bit of a seventh ring. That afterburner is beautiful. And by the way, did y'all notice that the push forward on the throttle was smoother than it is in game? And then the heads are like fully modeled and looking pretty good. I wonder if they're going to like have that because right now the aircraft kind of look a little bit mid on the cruise, you know. That's a, that's a thing. I don't know what that is. I know that's a super hind. Uh, yeah, the, the two. Glass domes, give it away as a hind, and it's the new one. I think coming to Britain, and by the way, just to enrage a lot of you, uh, the two domes are actually not centered, so yeah, I'm sorry for that. Oh no, more gas. Okay, that's a new TD, it looks like an early TD, not very well armored. Uh, the train definitely did move out of the way though, instead of blowing up and stopping you like it normally does. Maybe that's a new update. Okay, another IFB. Another IFB. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is a gliding bomb, and uh, it's guided bomb, a GBU, pretty much. But it has those little glider things to give it more ra range, you know. And it goes horizontal instead of vertical. Pretty interesting. Well, you can feel the worry at the time. You can see it. You can see the worry. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a chimney. You can see the worry in his eyes, though. That's pretty incredible. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh my. Bro. Oh my gosh. That slow mo is fire. It had me on the edge of my seat, bro. Oh. Okay, yeah. The, oh, the, the flickering of the after crazy. That's more of a Oh, okay. We have like a. I've seen a documentary on this, like Abrams. It's Middle East conflict, Iraq or something. Abrams and Bradley's rushing across the desert to fight T 64s and other semi modern, but not as modern, Russian tanks. Okay, definitely in combat, definitely getting shot at. Interesting thing is, according to what I've read, the U.S. kind of just shot from long ranges a lot of the time. At the beginning, they were a little bit, they were a little bit pressed because, of course, they walked right into enemy lines. But after they had broken through the initial enemy lines, it was just Abrams and Bradley's taking long range shots as often as they could, because at night the Russian or the Iraqi tank crews or whatever Middle Eastern country it, this is presented as, they didn't have thermals and couldn't see anything. I think we had some friendly fire incidents too. <laughs> Please don't add friendly fire war thunder, I beg of you. 
Did y'all see what I see? Two guided bombs, a flat bottom. That, sir, sirs and ma'ams, that's an F-117. Oh. It's coming. Okay, we can see it. It's hitting. I would guess that's what it is, yeah. Oh, yep, there it is, the full thing, and it does have the American Air Force roundel on it. And that is, unmistakably, the F-117. That is pretty crazy. It's in-game, guys. That is, that's so cool. Now, I personally heard it was going to be a squadron vehicle. Of course, it could also be a normal tech tree vehicle. Please, War Thunder, make it squadron. Please, I beg of you. I want a top tier or semi top tier South aircraft, please, please, I beg of you. But from what I hear, it carries two 2,000 pound uh, guided bombs. Sorry, I'm holding my camera really badly. And it's a 30 FPS camera, so hopefully it's not that painful. And uh, is stealth, which, you know, still is kind of in the clouds about how it is stealth. Oh, War Thunder, trying, always trying to revive Naval. I swear, Naval is so beautiful. I, I love how it looks. Like, look at that ship. It's just massive. The only thing that really makes it not as good is it's slow. Air battles and ground battles, like, you're always doing something. And a ship, three quarters of the stuff is automated. There's, like, 80 trillion tasks around the ship that aren't being done by you. And the one task you do do is from 14 kilometers away. Every 10 seconds, it's it's like firing a KV-2 cannon at ships, except you're firing at 14 kilometers, which means it takes a long time to reload and it takes a long time to hit. In my opinion, naval needs to be reworked hard. So, maybe in the next major update? Okay. A lot of historical scenes, or a lot of semi-historical, trying to be historical scenes in here. I'm pretty impressed, honestly, War Thunder. Good job. Different bombs right there. Oh, okay. I'm gonna rewind that a little bit. Guys, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more. Yep, there it is. Do you see what that aircraft is firing from? That's his friendly major airfield right there. Their updated airfield. And he's firing what looks like rockets. But they got little wings on them and fire from the back. That is a very long range. I think it's 15 kilometers to the battlefield from normal airfield. Firing immediately. Rockets. That has to be guided. You're not hitting anything with normal rockets from 15 kilometers. Oh my gosh. Imagine the state of CAS when this update drops. Like, Ground RB is going to become F-117 and SU... I don't know what that Sukhoi is. It's probably a Sukhoi. That's my guess. I'm not that big man. Okay, the Super Hind again. And there it is. The end of the trailer. Oh my gosh, War Thunder. You outdid yourself this time. I've not seen a better trailer than this. Like, look at that Patreon launch. Oh my gosh. The, the combo of that? Like, I know it could be just an airfield defense system. But to have that big of a launch, I don't think they'd put that much drama on it. Just, I'm just 
I'm just busy admiring how beautiful this trailer is. Like, this trailer is immensely beautiful. Oh, you know what I saw? Oh my God, I, just I saw him say, the War Thunder trailers never fail to disappoint me, unlike the game. That is so true. So true. 15 kilometers is getting you. That is a very long way to Let's just watch this. Are the pilots looking at each other? That's pretty crazy. Oh my gosh. Missile just slammed right into that tower. And just shut it off. For now. And then it goes right into the desert like storm kind of thing. That is. War Thunder, I congratulate you. And I'm very much looking forward to this update. Honestly, it's kind of weird. Is, wasn't this supposed to be a minor update? Isn't that what we've had at this time over the years? I wonder if they're going to replace the major update by, by Christmas with this one. Like, is this their excuse for not doing something at Christmas? I'm kind of worried about that. But at the same time, this is a transition we all knew War Thunder had to make at some point. Getting into stealth things, like, that's pretty much all major, like, modern tech is now. Everything is going stealth. Everything is going drone. And War Thunder, honestly, is doing a wonderful job with keeping up with that. Now, obviously, as they get into classified stuff, it's going to get less and less accurate. But I think they're doing the best they can, really. You can feel the emotion. Like they're they're running through a desert midday. Enemy tanks. Guys, I, I think I'm gonna have to end the video right here. Um This is looking like a wonderful update. I'm gonna make more posts as it like as I get more information on things. I'm just kinda of flustered right now, honestly. It's so much so much information coming in. We're going to have so much fun in this update. And by the way, guys, <laughs> I hate to do it, but I have to kind of remind you all of this. This is how many people are subscribed to my channel versus how many viewers I have in percentage. And subscribing to my channel really means a lot to me. And by the way, it's 100% free. And as a subscriber, I give you guys the chance to give me video recommendations to tell me Well, you can tell me what I'm doing wrong at any point but you can do that in my discord server and you know it's all free and it helps a war thunder creator get bigger and bigger i can play more vehicles the more subs i have right so i want to thank everyone who came out and watched this video i hope you guys are as excited for this update as i am it's coming soon and i'll be there for it god of 3d peace out